Hi, my name is Martha McLeish. I am a faculty member um, from Indiana University in Bloomington from the Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture and Design. And I am the director of our Creative Four, which is our fundamentals program. And I teach drawing and color study and other things within the Creative Four area. And my background is in painting, but a lot of the work I do crosses over into sculptural work. And truthfully, I don't necessarily worry that much about which, which side of things I'm on. I kind of sort of see it as a very natural flow between the two and not a harsh distinction. Um, I'm gonna show you a few images of my work, some early work and some work that's um, in process for the show that will be happening at the Peninsula School, just to give you an idea about my process. So this is a very old piece one of the first dimensional pieces I made, and it's a drawing. So these are all different types of drawing material, graphite, charcoal, and so on, that I mixed with different types of fluids and then kind of spread out onto paper and mounted as part of this architectural space. Um, another large work, not quite as old, this one is oil paint on wood. Um, also the piece that's about six, feet tall altogether, or five by five actually, five feet tall, five feet wide. A large piece here done with plexiglass and polyvinyl chloride, another kind of large piece. And these early pieces for me, uh, one of the big pushes towards wanting to work three-dimensionally was to think about how painting and architecture sort of went hand in hand and how the, the space that a painting is shown in or that we, we really experience it in that room and to have the two interact was really important to me. Um, it still is, but I've kind of changed my scale. So some of the more recent works that I'm showing you, like this work here, this is much, much smaller scale, maybe just like a foot and a half tall. And I'm working with um, wax and um, graphite mixed into the wax to make these painting, painted marks. So I kind of have been working at a smaller scale because I can, move through an idea more quickly. Um, I can hang the work more easily and share it, you know, mail it to shows and have just a whole different type of interaction than with these larger, more architecturally sized pieces that are a little bit limited in what I can do with them and how many I can make over the course of time. Um, this is a work done with graphite and other media on paper. And I've used some aluminum with that to kind of figure out ways to kind of fold the paper and have curves and fold interact in a kind of gestural manner. Um, this is one of the pieces that I'm working on for the um, drawing, to, um, the, the uh, two and a half D show. And I am using a type of uh, foam board that I can cut with, um, you know, hand tools. And I'm painting with acrylic paint on this washi paper that I then, after I paint and come up with something that I like, I can attach to the surface of the foam board. And I'm, use, I'm using a plasma cutter to cut out these shapes of aluminum that act both as supports for the piece to attach it to the wall and contribute a little bit to the imagery of the piece. So this piece here was based on a landscape that I saw and felt um, that it was just kind of beautiful, um, spring landscape and there were light, there was light coming through the trees casting shadows on the ground below. Another piece from that from the series that will be um, at the um, show that's done with foam and washi paper and one more. So I if you have a chance to take this class if you have interest in taking this this class it would be wonderful we're going to be working with um, really trying to explore the tension that happens when we combine images that, and marks and shapes that are made um, through drawing with three-dimensional forms. And we can start to see how they change in space. We'll just be using simple construction methods with paper and board and, um, and talking, talking about different ways to adhere things together, attach things, and how to just conceive of these works in many different ways. Um, I hope you can join us. I think it will be a real lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And this will be my first time teaching at the Peninsula School. And I'm really excited about the idea of doing a kind of intensive workshop with some with people coming from all different backgrounds. It's my favorite kind of thing to do. Thank you.